line. And in this equation of line, now we understand what is the output, what is the input, and this intercept value depends upon what. Okay? Though last day, very beautiful explanation has been done by Noor, uh, but still there is room for improvement. Uh, could you please uh, uh, explain one more time the same thing? Okay, yes please. Clap it for Noor. Very well. Yes. How we can determine the slope? So today I want to explain the uh, equation of lines all of it using slope and also using uh, different points. First of all, what's slope? Slope is the steepness of our function. How much our function has the steepness? For example, this function, this function. Okay? You have two functions. Function of line, two line, equation of line. You have one line, two line. It shows the steepness of our line, how much our line is laying down to whatever. It's our slope. Uh, steepness of our The number one is y intercept. Y intercept is where it uh, cut the y axis. For example, here and here. And it is x intercept. We have the axis zero. We know the equation of line. And in this equation of line, okay, the y is the output, uh, the kind of range, m is the slope, x is the input, and b is the intercept. If I consider in the last lecture the temperature variation or conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius, we can, okay, this way, now our x is input, c plus b. My children, in case, standard case, <coughs> once, okay, case of water, freezing point at zero in Celsius and 32 in Fahrenheit. Freezing point. That is the freezing point. If I am talking about the boiling point, In Celsius, it's 100 degrees centigrade, and in Fahrenheit, it's 212. <coughs> now, if I want to determine the value of slope, we can see the okay, output in the denominator, and the, this C input in the denominator change of the output in the denominator, change of the input in the denominator, we can get the slope. Slope done. Any query about slope? How we can determine the slope? Is it okay? Yes, please. Yes, exactly. But if, if there is any query, then please ask. Please, please may ask. Okay, about the intercept. Still, as I told you, in if okay, intercept so, along the y-axis, some point where x zero. Are you getting my point? So in this case, it is zero degree centigrade. It is given. If I considered this zero degree centigrade, automatically whole term will become zero and you will get F, okay, what, 32. And you have V basically intercept is 32 degree centigrade. Technically, what you need to do, you need to substitute the value of, for getting the value of this V, you can either consider the boiling point values. For example, what is the boiling point? In Fahrenheit 2 and 2, and what is the slope? 9 over 5 and where, what is the Celsius? 100 plus B. I am asking to get the intercept value. You can okay, consider the lowest point or consider the highest point too. So 
here what is the 20. Uh, sorry 20 multiply 9 so you will get 2 1 2 minus 180 okay minus 180 B answer is what 32 this proves in either way you can get the value of intercept are you getting my point yes sir starting point but but you need to substitute okay so you can get the way this is the point 32 though it is also the, the by chance freezing point of the Fahrenheit also but in last class I asked a question where Celsius lowest point was not zero it was somehow six degree or sorry seven degree whatsoever so in this case my children you are intercept will change okay in this uh, I, I think this one and uh, here in this case 104 Celsius and boiling point in Fahrenheit 240 so how you can get intercept in this formation you need to substitute F M C plus B first of all there are four values you can determine easily the slope slope is what come on please calculate and tell me slope I am not going to calculate it okay 202 is it okay this is the slope now we have these values I am asking this question to some of students. What is your name, please? Sorry? Iman. Iman? Yes, sir. Uh, could you please tell me how we can determine the intercept B? Sir, uh, if we substitute the uh, values of Fahrenheit and uh, Celsius, then uh, we can calculate. Okay, let me substitute the value of Fahrenheit yes, 104. 202 97 and uh, this is a Fahrenheit and Celsius sorry okay yeah, you mean to say Fahrenheit 240 240 and uh, Celsius okay uh, Celsius can I write here 7 plus B this is 7 is also value of Celsius yes please because when is the value for uh, freezing point and when is the value for boiling point? This is a conflict of interest. Yeah. Okay, what is your name? Iman. Clapping for Iman. Very good. Well okay, so you must keep in mind that there should not no conflict. Okay, if you are considering both the lowest or both the highest values. Is it okay? Yes, sir. This is an important thing. Then you can get the value and remember this is not the lowest one. Maybe it is somewhere okay different value than the lowest. So it may not say seven. Okay. For example, uh, here in this case, what should be the answer? One zero. One zero. Four. Okay. If you are okay, someone can calculate on the okay by using the mobile phone. What's the value of B? Subtract this value. It will not 7. It will not 38. It will not 38. Are you getting my point? 23.4 degrees. Yeah, exactly. 23. Thank you so much. 23.4. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, Why? Because we need to locate a point where the x axis at zero position. Here, 7. 7 is not acceptable. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. As I told you in start of class, intercept is some kind of a value when we start our business. Okay, from the scratch. From the scratch means your x-axis should be at zero position. <laughs> Here, by trick, I asked you to choose the lowest value as a 7. So 7 is not a 0. Are you getting my point? Yes, 
so you have this intercept not the 38 it starts 23 point blah 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 is it okay yes. okay thank you so much any query regarding uh, slope intercept M1 into M2 sir. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for reminding. M1, M2, minus 1. Why is it so? No, sir, uh, uh, prove it by geometrical. Oh, okay, 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 please, my child. Okay, you will learn. Okay, good. C. We are talking, if, okay, this one coordinate axis. Is there any slope? No, no. No slope. So, suppose I am considering two possible slope. This one is a slope. M1. And this slope comes from the point of origin zero, zero. zero. Suppose we are connecting this here. And the length of this horizontal is one unit. Any objection until here? No. So you make now consider another slope. Okay, consider another, another slope. So this one M two. Okay, so you may connect this here. Of course, base axis both are one unit. Is there any objection? <coughs> now you can notice this one is kind of a right angle. You can apply what Pythagoras theorem here. And Pythagoras, for example, suppose this one is A, B, somehow C. You can express C scale, A scale plus B scale. Now, question is this: This is the length. This is the M1 is length. Okay, of course, it's the maximum length. At this point, you are okay. Suppose x, y. At this point, you will write one M1. Are you getting my point? So similarly, here the point you will get 1, M, 2. Now you have three points, 0, 0, 1, M, 1, 1, M, 2. With the help of distance formulae, you can determine the C scale like D scale. D scale, D scale, okay, formulae formula of the distance for this one. Uh, okay, here, A scale, this side. This side it will become okay. If I am using the zero, this one and this point, we are applying the distance formula, then you will get one plus m one scale. Is it okay? Yes. Zero zero subtracted away, and you will get this. Do you know the distance formula? Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. Similarly, here you will get this one. Is it okay? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Hamza? Okay, question. Uh, please ask. Okay, so in this case, now you will have one, one, okay, this one, M1, M2. Of course, this will be cancelled out, one minus one, whole square cancelled out. Yes. You will get somehow M1 minus M2 or M2 minus M1, it will not matter, okay? So you will get somehow M2 minus M1 whole scale. Is it okay? Yes, sir. So substitute here. So this one is the M2 minus M1 whole scale. 1, 1 will be cancelled out at 0. So at this point, you are 1 plus M1 scale, 1 plus M2 scale. Okay, this will be cancelled out. And here you are expanding it M2 scale plus M1 scale minus 2M1 M2 here 1 plus M1 scale 1 plus 
M2 scale. My children, if you are adding up, okay, they will, let's cancel out. M1, M2 scale will be cancelled out this one. M1 will be cancelled out this one. Now, you have this one minus 2 M1, M2 and 1 plus 1, 2. So, you can express minus 2 M1, M2, 2. This one, this one and this one plus 2. Cancelled out this one, you will get somehow M1, M2, and 1, okay, by getting, multiplying both sides negative sign, you will get negative sign here, this one is positive. So, M1 proved this one. But this was not, okay, still, so these are two triangles. What happened basically? This slope, please, point of, yes, sir, some please. This one? Uh, uh, what I applied? I applied the distance formula. Here is the point 0, 0. Here is the point 1, M1. So apply distance formula between it. <coughs> Do you know the distance formula in my child? So this one is the distance formula. Okay. Like x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 whole square. Okay. So one both sides, all sides, three sides. Okay, shortest distance between two points. Sir, I have the question. You have seen the value M2 minus M1 written in the hypotenuse. But the value of the triangle is the value of 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 the x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1. My child, what is the value of x2? x2, 1. What is the value of x1? 1. one. So this whole term will become 0. So you will get m2 minus m1 whole square. No, oh, oh, okay. This is the technically here angle. Can you please check angle here? Oh, oh, okay. Here, here. This one, okay. Please, no issue. You are welcome. I appreciate. This one is the right angle triangle. Am I right? White hands. Is it okay? If I half, okay. This one is a half. So this one is what? 45 degree. Similarly, my child, lower case, 45 degree. So, is it okay? Yeah, thank you so much. Grab him for us. I'll see. So, the problem is this. The concept why two slopes are perpendicular and why they are getting negative sign each time. Let's suppose these are two slopes perpendicular to one another. This one is the M1, this one is the M2 somehow. Now I am dealing with okay slope of course like this. Are you getting my point? So here A, here B. If I elaborate it in terms of x axis, y, okay, this is the x coordinate, this is the y coordinate. Slope of M1 rise our run. So rise is what? A and there is the run. B. Both are positive quantity. So, if cl cl clock, okay, needle of the clock, rotate, then this, okay, this whole, this will rotate and at this point, A 
A will here, one it will rotate, A will go this position and B will go there. Vertical position. A will go on horizontal position, B will go on on rotation. <coughs> Are you getting my point? So, my child now see, A is, okay, what? A is positive quantity along the positive x-axis. And what is it about the B? Negative. 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 So slope in the this case A minus B. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rise over run. Rise over run. Minus B over A. Now we have this one, M1, and we have another M2. If we are multiplying M1. M2 A over B multiply minus B over A. So cancel out, you will get minus A. So two slopes, one intersect. Okay, this one, remember, remember my children, I, I need your kind attention. Multiplication is a, you can say, considered in discrete structure kind of intersection. Multiplication is another form of intersection. Are you getting my point? Yes. Union, uh, some kind of R, but intersection, multiplication represents intersection. So two are multiplying, basically two are intersecting. And remember, angle is 90 degree. Angle is 90, 90 degree. degree. So you will get always a reciprocal. Reciprocal of the system. This is very important. For example, to construct a building, the vertical wall, okay, the horizontal floor, yes, 90 degree, okay, here, maybe it is not very much important if you can consider on a slope, but somewhere, this, okay, perpendicular lines, huge impact in our daily life. For example, rail track. Rail is running on a, some parallel track. The distance between both the track should be, okay, here, there are some bars. Even. Each bar having some 90 degree angle perpendicular to the railway track. If angle will change here, okay, then maybe it may be possible two tracks will bend or two tracks will, okay, extend, so train will be detracted and it will huge disaster. Are you getting my point? Yes. So, once you are considering the product of two slope, it will give you basically this negative sign. It's telling you it's the exact okay reciprocal, opposite reciprocal, like a over a over b minus b over a reciprocal. With the opposite mean, the like here we are considering the vector positive. Direction negative, this negative one. So, in the form of a slope, you are considering the same situation will happen. Is it clear or not? Yes. Bilal? Yes, sir. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, do study with some, okay, good faith. So that you can contribute in a true spirit. I told you a few topics, you should go through to it and actively participate in the class, actively. We will study about, yes please, do you have some question? Tired? My children say, sir, we are tired. I can understand this fasting, but you know, yes please. You should prepare each and everything. We did not study too many things, okay? Few things, be careful, study each and everything. And you can discuss with your uh, CR about your results. Some students are getting very low score. It's a very shocking thing. Okay, Abdurrahman? Yes, sir. Just discuss that some students, you don't know exactly the name. But it's the important thing, some students are getting low score. Some students are getting very good score. Sir? Can you please specify the name so that they can be...
तो इट्स वेरी बैड थिंग फॉरन कंट्रीज नो माई आर स्टूडेंट आर गुड बट मे बी समाइम ड्यू टू बिजी रूटीन ओके दे डू नॉट परफॉर्म मे बी नेक्स्ट टाइम दे विल परफॉर्म वेल ओके सो प्लीज ट्राई टू परफॉर्म स्ट्रगल हार्ड ओके स्ट्रगल हार्ड एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज नो वन लाइक टू प्रेजेंट द थिंग Topic. Sir, topic. I told you the uh, tangent line, normal line, are the derivatives, anti-derivatives. Someone like to present? Yes, my daughter. Sir, tangent line, normal line. Tangent line, normal line. Uh, when will you present, please? Sir, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Okay, it's done. On Tuesday. Someone else, please remember this. Okay, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Someone else? Just me after me. I will not mind even you do not. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, please. Also derivative. Derivative. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Two great daughters are sitting here. Yes, please. Asa. Chair. Sorry. Chair. Chair. Uh, you already presented. Are you already presented? No, I I am so sorry. You are you are very good. I am so sorry. You did not present before. No, you, they both did not. Then that's why I said the people. Very good. Very good. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Oh, okay. clapping for this, Mr. Lau. You are clapping.